What part of no don't you understand? You're trying to get yourself killed, pal. Oh lord. Oh, what the? Welcome to the most musty YouTube channel history. Welcome back to Like a Jacket Infinite Wealth. And the sad thing is about QDU, uh, he got a bucket list to pick on. So, um, I can't imagine uh, what QDU has uh, been through for the past couple of games. And I, and I see a couple of um, stuff that, um, a lot of stuff that, that he's been going around with stuff. So, we got we gotta check out his memories, uh check out uh whatever activity that he's going through. And yeah, so so last time in this video game we got Psycho, we got Sully, uh, my lover, and we got number. Oh, oh she was stressing. Alright, and every weird night with this lady right here who happens to be uh Yakuza Lucky Dragon, so all right, so let's let's get to searching. All right, so without further ado, oh, make sure you hit the subscribe button, tap the little bell, YouTube as you now miss the upload. Um, I see you guys uh, uh, send the uh, comments right there, so I really appreciate it. So subscribe is the only way to uh, help me out. So guys, please support your boy. Let's rock this joint. Uh, I need to get back to my boxing gym. You take boxing classes? Yeah. It was originally just part of my diet routine, but it's really a lot of fun and a great stress reliever. My trainer thinks I've got a knack for it, too. Hey, that's great. Yeah, I'll back you up if you're ever in a tight spot. You know, the old one-two. Good to know. I could definitely use it. Ah. All right. Mm, nothing beats fresh baked bread. That said, I've been buying it less and less these days. Did you get bored, you think? Oh, no. It's just that I recently got myself a bread maker, so I've been really into that instead. A bread maker? So you've been baking your own? The newest ones are pretty amazing. They need ferment and bake all on their own. You can even adjust the fermentation time to change the texture of the bread. Oh, okay. And by tuning the temperature, you can change up how soft you want your crust. Oh, there's a great deal on it right now, too, and it even comes with a cashback. Have you ever thought about writing commercials? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Commercials? These special pancakes are amazingly fluffy. Oh, looks delish. Yeah, you definitely won't be hungry after those. Hey. Something wrong? I just remembered that Adachi-san ate the pudding I'd been saving. <laughs> Still hasn't replaced it. Ooh. Well, this is out of the blue. When did this happen? A few years ago. I had it stored you. in the fridge over at Survive. Really? You're still holding on to that grudge after all that time? Honestly, disputes over food are some of the most passionate. Look, a friend of mine ate another guy's cream puff while they were out on a trip. He hasn't received forgiveness to this very day. All that drama over a cream puff? It's more about courtesy among friends. If you want something, you should ask for it. Speaking of, the strawberries on Sunny's cake look scrumptious. Mm. You mind if I... Ooh. You have a death wish? <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna work, huh? Careful, Dabba! Not even in your dreams. <laughs> oh my goodness, he about to just, uh, steal her food. I won't lie, this one was filthy. It's true. Like the river is to boy. Maybe things had changed by now, but, but it was also pretty dirty back then. Sultan Bari, the entertainment capital of the West of Kamalucho's biggest rival. I got a copy of that quote. The Ritz, the Ritzy uh, ambience is really similar to Kamalucho, but it still has its own allure. It also happens to be my battleground between the Junior Mafia and the Army Alliance. There, I met Ryuji Gora at Kalu for the first time. Guess you can say it was a pretty special place for me. Place? Plus, the food's great. Yeah, nothing beats a authentic Osaka style teriyaki. That's nostalgic. It's a great city, yeah. But whatever good ever talk Kalu show. Wow. Good memories, good stuff. Hmm? This district is one of the NG shows many symbols. A hub of different bars and pubs. 
That reminds me. I used to hit up one of the bosses on the Michi pretty often. That was the stuff story that I did. The ka uh, karaoke, drinking, and stuff. And Yakuza 6. Anyways, there was a regular. It was so hard getting to know them. Turns out they are all good people. Though. This brings back memories. We raise a glass and chat over a good drink together. I always be thankful to a bar that provide me with the comfortable space. Good times. Hmm? Hustle Bar's okay. Looks like some kind of secondhand clothing shop. They got some pretty fashionable clothes and stuff, too. Reminds me of when I picked up a Mr.'s clothes in the past. Thinking back of it now, he looks a little sharp. Guess I have to do a good sense of fashion after all. I remember this. Uh, if, if there's such a thing as an inc re reincarnation, maybe I'll work in the fashion industry in my next life. Aw, oh, man. Oh, a clothing store. Ever since I joined the fashion, I I heard I inherited to a dress code every single day. Oh man, I haven't really thought about choosing my own clothes, but the usual outfit I used to wear, the gray suit and the red shirt with the pop collar, I guess you could say that is more in my style. Ah, that now, takes me back. Now I start to realize I can't wear whatever I want anymore. Damn, I want his suit back. It's back in Yakuza Zero. The Gobi Drew headquarters are just up ahead. But everything is blocked. My history with Gobi Drew goes way back to my connection with, with a parent organization, the Jigra Mafia. And now some of not not only needed them, but after Zhao uh, uh, see it powers with her, she also in charge of the meal mom. There will be no exact choice to say that Sungri has the entire Yokohama underground under her thumb. <clears throat> she must be under her, her a lot of pressure still. What an impressive feature. Even though it's only been a short while since we met. I can tell she was born to be a leader. She has the potential for it. Seeing the next generation carry us to a future fills me up with hope. That's nostalgic. <laughs> It sound like a geezer just now. Oh man. So this area is a Korea town now. Reminds me of my history with the Jigra Mafia. I feel this as far back as the Kazama son time. We have a number of conflicts with them in the past. It was killed or be killed, but here I am now. Fighting alongside with the remnant of the Jigra Mafia, Jugi Hunt. <laughs> if you told me this years ago, I never believe it. Ah, that takes me back. Guess you never know what's life's grind store. The future's always unpredictable. Damn, I miss Cosmo. Yo, this is doing me, cuz. Uh, look at this. Oh man. Yo, they would be just like Scorpion. <laughs> oh man. Here we go. Oh, they're almost down. I add that to the list. I kinda like this one too. Oh! Yo, that devil is heavy! Go get his ass. Give me wings! Whippo gives you wings! <laughs> oh my god, bud. We 
sniper! Oh, right. oh shit. Okay, she she needs the S's, so Alright, you see so. Oh. Oh really? You're going to regret this. You asked for it. Well, me. No. Now then. Hmm. All right. Uh, watch this. Hope this works. Here we go. All right. Oh, you know what? Do. Try this on the side. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah. You picked the wrong opponents. Nice. The Sasaki building. And inside the Sasaki EMT clinic. Sasaki, South familiar. The name Sasaki is this with me for so easy. Maybe because of this weird dream I. I can't forget. Wait a minute, is that the game for uh Kent uh like a dragon Kent side? Yo uh spoiler alert, but I don't know if you guys have noticed so this picture uh like a dragon Kent side coming soon to 2026 I tell you right now RGG if you listen right now make it happen like a dragon Kent side we wanna play this game all the way I don't know why, but in this dream, I was at uh, Miyamoto uh, Musashi and I lived under the alias, worked for a merchant in a wet light district at that time, even though I was at uh, uh, Miyamoto uh, Musashi. I still have a duel against Sasaki Kijiro and won. At least the dream was somewhat historically accurate, that we call it. Just when I thought it was over, I had to fight off these guys in Demon Mask way right after. Dream sure and weird. But it all feels so vivid. The emotions still linger in my mind. Perhaps it's a memory from the past life. Ah, that takes me back. Ah, yeah, right. That would be ridiculous. Please, coming soon! It's so different for Kamurocha here. Yokohama is a bustling town in his own life, but it doesn't have the same glitz and glamour as Kamurocha. Oh, man. Come to think of it, the snake flower trials also has a high up there. I lived here with Haruka before we moved to Okinawa too. Even though it's been a while since our last visit, this place is, is amazing as I remember. This brings back memories. But it still can't mess up against Kabaosha. Yeah. Oh man. No, actually, uh, let, let's just run. <clears throat> Cause I gotta talk about these dumb things. So... So before Kiyu um uh, uh pass on um uh, uh die before uh but die by the uh cancer, uh Kiryu wants to relive his memories uh just to uh, you know just to uh to remember uh, uh times in the past person and I remember uh the first time I played uh Yakuza Kiwami uh I thought this was the first game but when Yakuza Zero is just right there. I played that game instead. So Kiryu has has so many uh, memories in the past. He got his best friends, uh, um, Nitsuki. Uh, he has a, a father, of um, uh, Kazuma, uh, the adopted father. Uh, I called it, cause, <coughs> cause Kiryu's parents is very unknown. So now, so now Kiryu wants to um, we live for memories and. Remember uh, the time that he, he hang out with uh, everything? So now, I start to feel like Kiryu uh, needs to uh, remember remember this moment uh, for a past and present. I notice it's been pretty sunny over here. Maybe because of all the rain back in Hawaii. I actually really like the rain. Really? No, is that right? That's pretty rare. 
Well, to be more accurate, it's not the rain, but the umbrella. I love stepping out with a fancy umbrella, so I think rainy days are great. I get what you mean. The rain can be nice now and again. I once owned a really fancy umbrella, but it was no match for the typhoon that day. Who goes out during a typhoon? Huh? <laughs> Things are going well. <sighs> Gotta say, I haven't been sleeping too well lately. It takes me forever to fall asleep, too. Maybe there's a good sleep medication around here? Nah, before you chance it with the meds, you ought to rethink your bedtime routines. You probably toy around with your phone a lot, right? Yeah, that's true. I usually end up watching videos and stuff. Maybe just stop looking at your phone in bed. Yeah, the light from the screen causes your brain to... If you get sleepy and lose your grip, you'll drop your phone on your face. <laughs> you'll just wake yourself up, and who wants that? Well, I, I was talking about <laughs> science and what have you, but... Oh, well, I guess the result's the same. Hey, uh, Sanja. <clears throat> Me? Yep. If you got some money on you, I want a couple games here. Games? Are you some kind of car sh shot? Just a humble gambler. Koi koi or oishu kabu as you please. Consider yourself welcome. You never know. Might walk away a little richer. Hmm. They didn't exactly expect to gamble in this place like this. Uh -huh. Sure. I could be entertained. <laughs> Happy to hear it. It's just down this ladder. Whatever you're in the mood. If you don't mind me asking, why do you say I'm, uh, I'm welcome? Are you inviting anyone who passes by? Actually, I keep a very tight uh, list of client, client It's just, you remind me of the kid once I knew when I was running games out of West Park and Carmel show. <laughs> Imagine that. Sometimes that's all it takes. Good luck to you, Sager. Huh. Huh? I had no idea what there was a gambling down there. Oddly enough, gambling dance always reminds me of Haruka. Ah, uh, she has a gambler's instinct. The one that's really good. At that, her predictions was always wild on the money. <sighs> After listening to her, I ended up winning too much. And a huge spike broke out. Those memories, just yesterday. Those memories never failed to make me smile nowadays. I feel a bit sorry for those gamers though. Yeah, me too. Say, Kiryu-san, have you heard? There's a legendary underground weapons shop nearby. Oh, what really? are you saying? Yeah, Ichiban and I have gotten goods there from time to time. The dealer's this shady guy who won't serve just anyone. You can't even meet him unless you pass a test first. But if Nanchan and I bring you along, I'm sure he'd let you in too. Oh, you're talking about Chao Ka Long. <laughs> Legendary is quite the exaggeration in my opinion. <laughs> wow, she knows. There's a lot I don't understand, but I'm interested. It's nearby, right? Let's see it then. Okay, you got it. Oh. <clears throat> okay, Kiryu-san. The weapons dealer is usually just down the ladder. All right, let's see what he's got. The underground arms Oh my god, yo, we got a new mission. <sighs> Did you bring this crowd to me expecting a show? No. Nope. This isn't how we do things in the underworld. I'm not running some tourist attraction here. Wait, do you recognize these two? Fortunately for you, I tagged along. And anyway, the fact that you're in business at all is thanks to me. So if you want to maintain your little sliver of autonomy, I suggest you mind your manners in front of me. Uh-oh. <laughs> so says the Queen of Komiju. Very well then. I'll hold my tongue while you're here at least. But there's still someone I don't recognize. Who's he? He's my guest. That's all you need to know. Don't tell me you're gonna throw a fit about this, too. A guest of Sun He's? And yet, he appears familiar to me. Mm. I feel like I've seen his all this before. Do you mean hey, Sun He? Remind me, what's this guy's name again? Oh, he goes by Chao Ka Long. 
That's impossible. The law I remember is his head of the state flower triad. It's not. He shot to death a long time ago in three. Wait for him. You ask my name, but won't give one in return. I don't appreciate being slighted like this. He's Tai Chi Suzuki. What? There. Everything's square now. All right, Chasan? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's whoa. see now. Sato is currently the most common surname in Japan. And guess what? Suzuki is right after that. So, what's the problem? It's a fake name, if I've ever heard one. Oh, shit. You're practically introducing me to a John Doe. <laughs> Even so, what does it matter? I'm vouching for Suzuki-san's identity. So, how about you quit the bullshit and bring out your wares like a proper arms dealer? Not happening. Uh-oh. What did you say? <laughs> oh, no! I feel this must get ugly, man. I don't want to sign yourself, but what's case scenario? Hey, you. Show me your face. No, face? it's fine. I'll just oh. leave. Oh, shit. I'm not in the mood for this. Oh, wow. It couldn't be. Stop! Nobody move! Uh oh. I know exactly who you are. <laughs> what? What a change. I barely recognized you. Guess that goes to show. The march of time is relentless. Do you Whatever know? it is you're going on about, you're clearly mistaken. Oh, really? Well, your identity doesn't matter at this point. I'm not letting you leave. Huh? I told you from the start. You've stepped into the underworld. Chao Ka Long. Do you understand what you're about to do? Are you prepared to make me your enemy? On the contrary, Sunny. You're the one disregarding the delicate balance of the underworld. Ooh. Not only did you bring a stranger before me, now you're trying to slither your way out of a deal. Oh shit. If word got out, who in Ichin Cho's underworld could bring themselves to trust in the Komichu? I hear you. Fine. What do you want? <laughs> Testing his worth only seems fair. That's always been my standard for any new customers, after all. If I take him on, I'm sure I'll finally feel more familiar with our mysterious friend here. Oh, really? Guess I can't just walk away. Fine by me. One one fight? Alright. If I'm worthy enough, he'll treat me like a customer, right? And drop the whole identity thing. <sighs> sure. Agree. Are you sure you'll be all right, Suzuki san? I am. Uh... Business negotiations were never my strong suit. Better to let my fists do the talking. Yeah. Divorce can't get through to someone. In the end, you just gotta hope that they feel it. <laughs> How funny. We finally agree on something. Oh, man. Let's finish this. I gotta well, fight this guy. Yo, let Kitty do it. I'm on a roll. Let's go. Here we go. Let's see. It's over. Let's do this. Don't you dare mock me. Oh! Now this. Here we go. Alright. Try this on the side. How will you ever forgive me? No begging for mercy now. All right, I'm gonna let them watch this. I'm gonna give a horrendous. <laughs> oh, you dare mock me! Yeah. <laughs> something wrong? You're gonna be in a world. You're going to regret this. Gotta stop the bleeding. This is no way to fight. Alright. You know, that still kind of reminds me of uh, one of the Yaksu games. I, I can't remember what it is. Time to put you down. <laughs> now we're talking. Have fun with this. <laughs> There you go. Right. Okay. 
Oh, it's the Axe of Three! Okay, he's lucky the car is there. Shit, I should have used that. Uh, you know, that's fine. I only got too many. Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh, now that's the essence. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, you know? Looks like I passed. Shao Ka Long. Quit playing dumb. You know who I really am, don't you? What's going on? <laughs> don't deny it. All those years ago, I fought you to the death. My name is Lao. As far as I'm concerned, it's Chao Ka Long. And that's what I intend to call you. Mm. This is the underworld, like you said. Pardon me? And my name is Tai Chi Suzuki. That's all we need to know about each other. You said I'd be a customer if I won. Promises made in the underworld are never made lightly. Especially with the Queen of Komiju as our witness. <laughs> exactly. Now, if you're satisfied, can we please carry on? <sighs> you! What's the meaning of this? You're pretty powerful, I'll admit that. I assume your weapons are of the same caliber. Just go ahead and shake his Without head, man. Doubt. After all, you won't find a better arms dealer than me. Thank you. <sighs> that nearly went south. So, uh, does this mean we're cleared to shop here now? Yes. With my weapons in hand, your strength will be unmatched. In fact... I bet you could even make the dragon of Dojima disappear. What? <laughs> oh, yeah? We'll just see about that. <laughs> Good grief. Thank goodness that's finally over. Oh, man. 
I hope you can give me something so that I can buy. Okay, memories of Chow Kong Long. He reminds me of Lao Kong Long because he, he's, he's the most subtle bitch boss I will face in Yakuza Kiwami yeah, in Yakuza 3. First a try a boss, now an arms dealer. As far as weapons go, I can't imagine him dealing with anything less than the best. Maybe I can check out what he got. Well, we're back in survive, boy. Home of the heroes. This is it, Kiryu-san. Our old Ichinsho staple. Hey, wait a minute. The name's a bit weird. He... And the owner hardly ever cracks a smile. He been there before. He's a guy. It's also the only karaoke bar left. <laughs> At least that we <gasps> He never met Kasuragi! Hey, Got a new customer for you. <laughs> Our friend here is Taichi Suzuki. <laughs> oh, shit! It's been long. You two uh, know each other? <laughs> no, I imagine you mistook me for someone else. Oh man! In any case, survives glad to have you, Suzuki-san. Uh, you good? Actually, I had a friend who looked just like him. Mm hmm. For a moment, I thought. I thought he had come back. Oh, man. My apologies, sir. Hey, don't beat yourself up over it. With a face like mine, this sort of thing happens all the time. <laughs> oh, my God. You think those two are just acting? It's hard for me to say sounds like a simple mix-up to me <laughs> we came here to sing right well what are we waiting for sure help yourselves consider the place yours tonight as a matter of fact nothing would please me more thank you truly hmm. oh man you know what check all right, um, these two know each other, I swear. You no, know, I wasn't sure how things would end up in Hawaii, but at least Curious Hunt seems to be doing better over here. Sunny, Sachan, it's all thanks to you, too. No need to thank me, Nanshan. You know I'm happy to help. And I'll do everything I can for him on my end. Call it a debt of gratitude if you want. <laughs> right on. We all owe Kiryu-san a lot, especially those of us from Ijinsha. More than anything, if there's even a slight chance he'll make it, I personally want to see him get there. And I'm glad you both are here. Because, to be honest, there's too much to bear on my own. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Memories of you. Twisting my view. I've, I've been, been a fool. fool. Oh man. I tell you right now, cause the killing you and Cousin Waggy knew each other. But they two are at the you son, that was great. Uh, yeah. Top notch. Oh my god. So the rumors are true. The dragon of Dojima can carry a tune and then some. Seems to me you guys weren't even listening. Are you kidding? Of course we were. Well, I guess I just have a voice nobody wants to hear anymore. Oh, man. <laughs> but we really were listening. All right, who's up? The song's starting. Hmm, now how'd that happen? Oh, what the? If no one's taking it, I will. Oh! Did on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Yo! I could not well, believe clear Oh my god. Praise the Lord. Praise the world together. I get it. We're breaking the rules. Don't trust, don't trust, no going back to how it was. <laughs> no slowing down because we keep our heads high. Our fist like to we that we're living by our own judgment. <laughs> 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 
Yo, kill you guys, energy right there. I need to take this. All right, just don't be gone too long. Okay. Carry you, son. Was this a good idea or what? I'm having the time of my life. Me too. Oh, bartender, can you fill us up? Hmm? Hey, it's me. What is it? So good? This better be important. I told you I'm out on the town tonight. I know that. But what do you expect? This is Kiryu-san I'm with, my lifelong hero. Mm. Yo, Sonny, what happened? You look pissed all of a sudden. Do I? I'm sure it's just your imagination. I take it you have business to attend to? Wait, are you for real? What is more important than living it up with Kiryu-san? Well, it was nothing urgent. That said, I did receive some rather troubling news. Oh, what happened? Was kill or not, can you tell us? The Siryu clan's behaving oddly. They're recruiting and their numbers are getting bigger by the day. What? A Siryu huh? clan? Wait, don't tell me that's what this is all about. You guys are the Komichul here. <laughs> and See, Nemo. Evina, the clan captain, is cooking up something called the Second Great Dissolution. He's even rallying the former Tojo clan and all these other groups to take part. That's right. Kasuga told me about that. To build a safe haven for all the ex-Yakuza roaming about. Supposedly, that's his big objective. Those with nowhere to turn can swear up for a time, in exchange for stable work. The waste management they do down by the docks is one example. Oh, man. You could almost say it's an expansion of what Kasuga was doing with Hello Work. Well, what the heck? So you knew all along. The thing is, some of those ex-Yakuza joining up with the Seiryu, they had already gotten their lives back together. And it's not just a handful. I'm talking by the hundred. Huh? What? Well, why would that happen? If they were able to find jobs and all, what would even make the Saber You clan appealing? Well, whatever's going on, I'm guessing Ebina's big plan is nothing more than a smokescreen for something else. And what his real goals are remain a mystery. Oh man. You really think that's accurate? Is it a cover up? Honestly, I'm a little insulted. You're talking to the brain behind the Komi Jewel here. Well, sure. But still, there could be some other factors at play. Maybe those Yakuza went clean only to realize the rat race was just as dirty above ground. True. I can't account for details on every single situation out there. But it's the overall pattern of movement that concerns me. The Seiryu clan's also pulling their waste operation out of Yokohama, and they're pulling right into Hawaii. Hawaii? Yep. All their fresh recruits are packing their bags and heading overseas as we speak. You were there just recently, as I recall. Could this be a mere coincidence? Or maybe there's a deeper connection here. Hmm. What is it with that place? Why is everything going down there at once? Does anyone in the Seiryu clan have some sort of Hawaiian affiliation? Wait, hold on. Actually. Think about why Kasuga is there in the first place. Wait, what was this? They gave the oh, guy a right. With Sawashiro. <gasps> Not only was he a former captain, he was Yo! Kasuga's right hand man. Yo, thank you, Noah. It's more. Sawashiro. It's the secret that Akane-san's been alive all this time. And now he's risen to the top of the Seiryu clan, right next to Ebina. Then it looks like I've got something to add to that bucket list. Make Sawashiro tell us what he knows. Yeah. That's <laughs> one way to use a bucket list. Seiryu Clan HQ is not far from here, right? It's not, but as of now, most of their officers are gone, including Sawashiro. Wait, they left? They started a branch office about a week ago to accommodate all the new recruits. If you want to pay them a visit, I can take you over there tomorrow. Yeah, that'd be good. All right. Oh, shit. A lot happened tonight. I should head back to Kasuka's apartment. Heroes? Damn punks. Hmm? Hmm? 
Oh. Oh, it's you. Hero son. How's it going? You know each other? Yeah. This one is Hero son. Kasuka is used to pitch in for him. <clears throat> hey there. I see. Are you alright? Yes, I am now. Thank you. Sorry about that. Let me introduce myself. Name's Hero, president of the Part-Time Hero Incorporated. We'll get you a hero all, all by name, not hero. <laughs> <laughs> um, Suzuki, I haven't heard of a Part-Time Hero before. Hi. Well, it's a service that dispatches heroes across the city to anyone who might be in need. Our heroes, of course, are part-timers who believe in what we do. <sighs> Time was, we dealt with practically everything from bodyguards to killing cats. We've been a bit uh, short-staffed lately, though. So, we uh, pre our uh, focus on part-time rescue division. Part-time rescue, huh? Hi. There's an uh, epidemic out there of number four being flag flagrantly extorted and harassed when in to provide them for protection. A hero who has successfully boss with the situation in Earth we worse for us. The more you help, the more you comp compensate. Hey, Suki san would you like to rest still for us? Like I said, we could definitely use more muscle. Kasuka san was able to do a lot of good and earn himself a suitable chunk of change when he was helping out. Ah. Part time work that helps people in danger, hmm? It's another way to make money, I suppose. So. Alright, it was good enough for Kasuka. Whoa, really? You're saying yes? Um, excellent. I look forward to working with you. Okay, you know what to do about that. They got one in and Yokohama. We're currently operating both Ichin Cho and Kamro Cho. For whatever reason, those are the two biggest hot heads of troubles. Hot bits of troubles. If you start helping out, we'll be getting worried you immediately. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Hey there, Kiryu-san. Are you here for a drink? You, uh, sure that'll be okay? No need to worry about me. <laughs> oh, please. But, since you're already here, there just so happens to be a seat right next to me. Right. I'll take you up on that. <laughs> so, Saiko, you're a mama over at a cabaret club? I'm not just a mama. I'm the owner of the whole joint. After the previous owner passed away, one thing led to another and I ended up taking over. The younger girls are usually the ones serving the customers, but sometimes I lend them a hand too. <laughs> Guess I should be paying you for this conversation then. Mm-hmm. Cough it up, mister. <laughs> but I guess you did help us out before, Kiryu-san, so... <laughs> <laughs> Let's just call it even. I won't be taking any money from you. Oh, whoops. I should be calling you Suzuki-san instead, right? Oh, man. Sorry for giving you even more trouble. I appreciate that you're sticking it out, knowing how busy you are. Anyway, don't worry about my fake name. You can just call me Kiryu. <laughs> Alrighty, I'll do just that then. Sound good? Hear you, son. <laughs> yeah. You know, you give off this air of sophistication even when you're sipping a drink. You look like such a gentleman. Same goes to you. You look like the very picture of elegance sitting here, drinking alone. <laughs> oh, yeah? <sighs> Maybe working at the club has actually sucked the youth out of me. I'm sure that it takes more than youth and vigor alone to become a successful business owner. Yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe that's why the men who come on to me are starting to change up their pickup lines. Really now? How so? Well, they don't stop at dating. And by that, I mean they start hinting at marriage. Or, you know, things like that. Mm. Those are some intense customers. They're not like that at all around the younger girls. That... But I seem to attract a lot of customers like that. The type of guy who's looking to get hitched. Uh, yes, that means I'm at the right age for that. People are starting to look at me that way now. At least that's the sort of vibe I get. Actually, get this. 
One of the guys hitting on me is pretty rich, and he has a lot going for him. Hmm? Sounds like you don't mind that at all. Hmm. I wouldn't say that. Honestly, I'm not looking to get married. I'm plenty satisfied with how my life is right now. On the other hand, there's my twin sister. Oh, wait! I keep thinking she needs to tie the knot with her boyfriend and settle down already. I mean, she's at the perfect age to get married. If she doesn't hurry, she'll let the chance slip by. Something's not adding up uh, here. Uh, if she's your twin, wouldn't that make her the same age as you? I know, I know. It's like the pot calling the kettle black. I'm aware I've just been making excuses, trying to justify myself. As long as you know, I won't comment. Mm. <laughs> By the way, mm -hmm. did Ichiban say anything about me when you guys were in Hawaii? Uh... Let me think. But why do you ask? Are you worried about him? Well, not exactly. I just haven't talked to him in a while. <laughs> He did something that pissed me off. <laughs> what? How what do you long do? Is a while. Nah, just leave it. All that matters is that he's doing okay. Besides, this is Ichiban we're talking about. <laughs> no matter where he goes, I can't imagine him being anything but his stubborn, cheerful self. Oh man, Ichiban used to high here a little. <laughs> Hear you, son? What's up? Why'd you get all quiet? <laughs> Did something happen between you and Kasuga? I'll help you out if you need a hand. <laughs> oh, no. It's nothing like that. All right. Will you let me know if there's anything I can do for you? Got that? <laughs> You're a real compassionate guy, Kiryu-san. Kind of reminds me of Ichiban. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say to that? You know, if I keep spending more time with you, Kasuga might get upset. Oh man. Oh no 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 no. We're not like that at all. The two of us are just friends. Oh snap. sure. Wait! Well, let's drink again sometime when we get the chance. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> not at all. I'd love to. <clears throat> just make sure your health doesn't get any worse, Kiryu san. You got it. I look forward to doing this again. Yeah, same here. It's been fun. Oh my lord! Is she is she saying something about the um uh, about friendship between Psycho and Ichiban? Did Ichiban uh find out if she's not marrying this guy? He's probably gonna go for Shichosi. Oh no, no, Shichosi's not gonna work that way. So uh, I don't think that's gonna work. But still, Ichiban still on Psycho. Well, what is what is happening? Oh, and we got a tattoo karaoke fever. Hey, Sonny. Here you, son. Came here for a drink, did you? They say booze is the best medicine. Hmm? <laughs> I don't need to hear your excuses. What you drink is none of my business, after all. I won't comment. Appreciate it. Mind if I sit here? Not at all. <laughs> oh, still, I can hardly believe it. The Kazuma Kiryu comes wandering in and sits next to me for a drink. How surreal. It's not that big a deal. I'm just a middle-aged man with graying hair. Just for men. But you, you're not just the head of the Komi Jewel. <laughs> you took command of the Yokohama Liumang as well. And all your subordinates have entrusted you with their lives. It must be a heavy burden to bear. Huh. You flatter me. That was a burden I... Abandoned. Oh yeah, right. Ah. About 20 years ago, you retired right after becoming the fourth chairman of the Tojo clan. Had you not, I wonder if the Tojo clan would have turned out any differently. Hmm. Who can say? But the Tojo clan would have disbanded regardless. The times have changed. And I doubt I'd be able to do a single thing about it. Not by myself. If anything, were I still at the top, the Tojo clan might have disbanded much sooner. I didn't have it in me to lead. Do you really think so? The way I see it, you just dislike being part of the herd. 
You don't mince words, do you? Oh, I meant no disrespect. <laughs> it's fine. I wasn't offended. It was actually quite refreshing. Only the head of an organization could speak so bluntly. So long as the underworld abides by its own laws, being the head doesn't mean much. And if someone gets any bright ideas, then all I have to do is stare them down. <laughs> That's basically everything in the job description. Easy, right? Yeah. I'm sure it must be easy for you. You're something else. Thanks to you, Ijinja's still standing even after facing pressure from Ryo Aoki. Wow. You really think so? Uh, um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm honored, but flattery won't get you anywhere. I'm not one to pay lip service. <laughs> I'm completely serious. So, does that mean I'm doing all right? At least in your eyes? Yeah, for what it's worth, I think you're doing just fine. You good on time? Oh, there's no way I'm calling it quits when you're still drinking, Kiru-san. I'll hang on for as long as I can. Do you always go this hard? Your subordinates must have a tough time keeping up. <laughs> Power harassment is a prominent concern in the underground these days. I never force a subordinate to drink. I won't deny that there's merit in ruling by fear, but you won't last for long with that alone. That all makes sense. It's becoming more and more apparent that you're a natural-born leader. That reminds me. Does Komijul still monitor the whole town? All well, the information you've extracted is the source of Komijul's power, am I right? Right, but it's not like I keep track of every little detail. One of my rules is that my confidant only brings me crucial information. And by confidant, you mean Jungi Han? Mm. Of course. He's a very capable man, and one of unwavering loyalty at that. I'd say he's the perfect right-hand man. If only he weren't so snarky. <laughs> <laughs> but there are others I consider my confidants. Some are even from my father's generation. Hmm. Your father's generation, huh? Must be close to my age. That's the only boy, You're right. The elders of the organization are like my great and wise uncles. Every now and then I'll get an earful from them. So even you have something you're afraid of. They were part of the Jingon Mafia before Komi Jewel. Back in their prime, they had a healthy rivalry with the Tojo clan. Probably a little before you made a name for yourself. I've heard a lot about your heroics, so having someone like you sit right next to me is sort of unnerving. What was that? Uh. Oh, um, it's nothing. <laughs> Forget I said anything. <laughs> Former Jingon Mafia. I hope they don't disapprove of you siding with me. Well, I'm not sure myself how they feel about all this, but even if they do disapprove, I can take care of it. I wouldn't worry about those old gents. After all, what I say goes. I guess I really can count on you for anything. I'll let you handle it then. <laughs> Perfect. That's all I ask for. Feel free to rely on me anytime. Nothing would bring me greater joy. All right. Thanks, Anhi. Glad to have you on my side. Ijincho has been a little too quiet lately. I was honestly hoping for some excitement. Now, with you in town, things are bound to get interesting. Hold on. Are you expecting something dangerous to happen? Hmm? Not necessarily. A toast, Kiryu-san? Let me welcome you to my town once more. Of course. Welcome to Ijincho, Kazuma Kiryu. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Man, I wonder how long the, uh, the bartender is working. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man. Looks like someone's enjoying herself. The <laughs> was that the impression you got? It was indeed. <laughs> well, just between you and me, I was a nervous wreck. But he's the dragon of Dojima. 
a living, breathing legend, leagues above me in the underworld. I can't afford to look stupid in front of Kiryu-san, especially as a representative of Ijincho. Did I say anything weird to him? Not as far as I know. <laughs> All right. I won't dwell on it if you say so. <laughs> and I do say so. <laughs> oh, man. Imagine I did. Oh. me drinking with V. Kazuma Kiryu. Just the two of us. Guess I'm not doing too bad. <laughs> yeah, Katsumaki uh, probably knows Kiryu, so I, I gotta tell you, she can now use the tag team dual impact. Hey, Namba. Mind if I join you? Ah, be my guest. Nobody likes drinking alone. Oh, yeah. I think it's curious, son. Didn't we talk about this? About what? I'm sorry you have to look after me. That's what it is. Once a nurse, you know. Besides, <laughs> it's any better? Ichiban made me promise to look after you, too. Understood. Oh. I can stay dry. Oh, about the castle. Oolong tea only. <laughs> that sounds pretty good, actually. Bartender. So what was it I heard about you all losing your jobs? Hmm, that's right. Huh? Me, Ichiban, and Adachi-san, we all got the axe. Did you know I was homeless for a period of time? Once you hit a certain age, the job market dries up. Somehow I got this gig, even with my employment gap. And then, poof, it was gone. What kind of job was it? Quality inspector. A warehouse for medical equipment. Medicine drew you back in after all. <laughs> I don't know. Hard to consider that medicine. Uh, there were a couple of other stints, but it was all day labor or temp work. The inspection job came with a two-year contract. And my co-workers were decent folks. They actually treated me with a bit of respect for being an old guy. I mean, uh, you're a man of good character. You're someone people can rely on. I'm sure they recognize that. A former nurse with a life you've had? That contributes to your character. Ugh, not cut off, Curious. <laughs> I want a drinking buddy. Daily affirmation. Oh, sure. <laughs> well, I can sympathize with how hard it is to find a job at our age. Losing it on top of everything else is a real shame. The thing is, you don't mind me saying, it wasn't just the young guys. It was this girl there. Mm, look at you. You're about to blush. That... <laughs> Nothing. I mean, can't blame a man for that, right? She was a little bit careless. She'd make tiny errors here and there. Whenever I'd catch one for her, she'd say, Namasan, what would I do without you? Must have been a pleasant working environment. <laughs> hey, I wasn't after anything, okay? <laughs> I understand. You don't seem like that type. She Listen to me, the point is, might have been a simple job, but it was enough for me. I did good work, and I had good colleagues. That's all a guy really needs, isn't it? Especially a homeless guy. For a fresh start, couldn't ask for better. I mean... And then, it just pulled me aside and said, my contract's up. Don't come back tomorrow. Wow. Did they give you a reason? Couldn't be asked to. If they don't extend your deal, that's the long and short of it. That's yeah. hardly fair. They put up a release. So, I went back home, and Ichiban was suddenly all over the internet. Oh. Uh I guess I've made no secret of the fact that I was friends with the hero of Yokohama. Oh, somebody's nuts. must have thought, mm, gotta sweep me under the rug before this shitstorm hits. <laughs> Kasuga got targeted and you took a stray one. Yeah, hey, Adachi course, too. I don't hold it against him or anything. Ichiban, Adachi-san, we were all set up. As far as I'm concerned, the three of us will always be in this together. Oh man, I don't think we got uh, uh, so we just move in, but um, life is hard. It's a cruel world, Nanba. I say, let's drink and forget our troubles. From oolong tea? Hell, <laughs> you're your son. 
If you were around, that almost seemed impossible. <laughs> Drink enough of anything and you'll drown your sorrow. All this talk about you trying to get things back on track. I'm sorry you're saddled with me. Come on. You know it's not like that. Ichiban only asked me to see you home from Hawaii. It's my decision to stick around and have your back. So no more worrying that you're a burden. I'm the one who's embarrassed here. If you say so. I'm grateful. <laughs> so, how about we finish off with a toast? To knocking back tea. <laughs> yeah. I'll sip to that. Cheers. We can now use the tag team fiery breath. Curious son. All right, curious son. If we're going to be so sure at, at Ebena, we need to take a taxi. We're heading to the Cellular Clan Express office. I can show you a way. Wait, Cellular Clan office? Wait, they moved the office somewhere? Oh, they moved to the new office. No. Is this where? The Sari you set up shop? Yep. I'm sure it's hard to swallow, seeing your clan's former headquarters like this. Wait a minute! That's Tojo headquarters! This must have gone vacant after the Great Dissolution. Now here they are. New owners. Aw, oh, man. Ijincho's just not big enough for them anymore. That's how fast the Seiryu clan's growing. It's like they're quietly taking over. Hearing about it's one thing, but seeing it in person's another. Hear you, son? Unbelievable. The symbol of the Tojo clan <coughs> falling into the hands of outsiders. To think I'd live to see the day. Let's go. Standing around won't get us any closer to the boys in charge. Uh, I, I wonder why a Seiryu clan moved into this area. Here you, son. Maybe hang back for now. You get caught here, it's all over. What are you talking about? Same for Sunny, I suppose. Guess it's up to me to sort this out. Come on, Naba! <coughs> hey, uh, good day to you. My name's Naba. I heard Sawashiro san might be around. Can I help you with something? <laughs> oh, well, you, you see, Sawashiro san and I go way back. Uh, he actually paid for my trip to Hawaii the other day, so uh, I thought I'd swing by and say thanks. Nobody told me he was taking any appointments. Oh, shit. Now kindly get gone. Oh, wow. Oh, don't be like that. What's wrong with popping in and saying hello? <laughs> Besides, uh, there's something important we need to ask him. Look, I can't let you through. And I already told you why. Oh, come on. Come on, Nava, it's not and gonna work. Send me up a meeting with Ebina son. You know, your captain. Why, <laughs> me and him were having a chat just the other day. All you gotta do is tell him Nanba's here. What part of no don't you understand? You're trying to get yourself killed, pal? Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, what the? Who's. who's I'm Narasaki, lieutenant of the Seiryu clan. Seems here there was a slight misunderstanding. Allow me to set things straight. Oh, shoot. Finally, someone who can talk some sense. I have instructions from Captain Ebina. You're all to be welcomed as our guests. Yo. He also said there's no need to ask your name. Really, narasaki son You gonna take him in? They say the newbies don't know jack shit. But I didn't think it was this bad. <laughs> How could anyone not recognize you? I'd like to personally apologize for this dimwit. I want to talk to Sawashiro. Where is he? You'll see him soon enough. But first, please come in. I'm not gonna lie, but I almost said uh, Mufasa right there because his name is <laughs> so weird. <laughs> shit. It's a better than to Toto Clan. That's him. Sawashiro. Allow me the pleasure of welcoming you. It's truly an honor. 
I am Sawashiro of the Seiryu clan. So he's the real now? Didn't expect you to roll out the red carpet. My apologies if we caught you off guard. However, we felt it was necessary. <laughs> After all, with the Tojo clan and the Omi alliance now gone, it falls on us to become the banner for Yakuza all over the country. Such a task requires the utmost prestige. It's perhaps the only way to bring them all together. <laughs> right. So line up the troops and have them stare down your guests. That's your idea of prestige. Hmm. You'll have to forgive us. Well, there's little use in standing around out here. Captain Ebina is waiting for you inside. If you follow Narasaki, he'll lead you straight to him. Hmm. I don't need a guide. Is that right? Uh-oh. So your mind's still intact, huh? Glad to hear at least that's still worth a damn. I'm sorry, what? Do you know who you're talking whoa, to? Whoa, whoa, hold up. Take it easy, Sachan. We can keep this up if you really want to. But fair warning. If you're just testing your luck, pick another day. I don't have time for games. Oh man. I don't know we're about to fight this guy. Man, but Kiryu knows about this place. He been there to the Tojo Clan for, for many games since Kiwami, Kiwami 2, and, and beyond. You've got to be kidding me. So, we're going to talk about how about the dump bag of the shades. Oh, yeah. I think his name is uh, Nawasaki or uh, Mufasa, whatever this guy is. Cocky guys like him come with the territory. Don't let, don't let it get to you. Easy for you to say. I was waiting to go to war. Oh, she about to fight him? <laughs> <laughs> now you got my back. Mm. So this is the Toza Clan headquarters. Uh, was, I mean, Seven Clan headquarters. I mean, look. First time for me, too. Crazy I'm actually here. You know, this almost reminds me of the inside the diet building. I went there on a field trip back in grade school. Ah. <laughs> you say a Yakuza HQ and the Japanese government looks similar? Bold comparison. Hey, I want to try and make a point. Just saying what I felt. They're both official feelings. Well, wherever they are, just remember, this isn't a field trip. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Guys, wrap up the excitement. Everyone's probably went first in the meeting room. It's upstairs. Hey, it's your neck of the woods. By all means, lead the way. As a matter of fact, we gotta go to the tour. Alright, I know this side close. Wow, this place is huge. Just this is for banquets and, and the like, huh? Uh huh. Well, I don't know all the details, but they have held funerals for some of the past chairman here. Oh. Oh, yeah. Now that you mention that, it does have that vibe. Yeah, at least two took place here. Though, I guess that one turned out to be fake. Hmm? Did you just say fake? They fake a chairman's funeral? Yeah. I actually heard rumors about that. Huh. I knew schemes were all given into Tojo Clan, but I never thought they'd go that far. Man, now I got no more. Tell us the story later. <laughs> uh, if I'm up to it. Oh, so this is what it looks like. This where they uh, have fuels right there. Like, pretty big base here. Something catch your eye? Uh oh. Oh, you got a place for us, Kiryu son? All right, then. Give us a number. No. Huh? Oh, no. Just figure out I could use it in a pinch. What? The hell kind of pinch you have in mind? Coming here was never all that straightforward. Fortunately, I have it. Oh. <laughs> they show around every corner. Guess you still got it, Kiryu son. Hmm. What was that compliment? Was that a compliment? Oh man, I'm so glad. Uh, oh, another one? Oh. 
seems like they have a good character. These flowers are pretty expensive too. Ho -ho. How can you tell? We have a little displays like this back in the club. Still, there's no way we could ever spend this much. Heh, <laughs> I didn't know you like flowers, cutie sign. Kind of surprised, honestly. No. Uh, well, I thought uh, it would make a good cover if we start shooting. <sighs> so much of being surprised. <laughs> Always taking one step ahead. <laughs> you're impressive as ever. Oh, so you know what? Let's. No let's so far. We're gonna take the tour to a museum of a natural Tojo clan. Excuse me. Kido son, you used to be a chairman of the Tojo clan, right? Just for a short while. I quit pretty soon after. Short term in office, huh? Any reason? I mean, if we're, if we're talking to Yakuza, the chairman of the Tojo clan is like the Queen de la Clan of promotions, right? Ho -ho. Actually, yeah, I wonder about that too. Right. Oh, sure. I guess when I was younger, I did dream of, of a witch way off life. But then, well, I found something much more important than that. As to whether or not I made the right choice, that's hard to say. Oh, you think you look great? I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me. You know, even if the past is weighing you down, you always got it today. Just have to tell yourself that the choices you made along the way were the right ones. Nine shine. Besides, there's no guarantee of what's happening now as a result of that. Seriously. And hey, if you ever need an ear, I'm here. Alright? <laughs> yeah, I didn't even help us set, your, set each of us first day. Friendly advice, it's my specialty. Wait, what did that prove the opposite? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. When the time comes, I'll keep that in mind. Oh, uh, Museum and National Tojo Clan. Ooh, what's this? Huh. That's one fancy pain. You know anything about this one, Kitty Son? No. No, couldn't tell you. Oh, wow. It's a famous piece of uh, Motar von Egmont for Germany. Supposedly, he was influenced by Rembrandt. Though he typically only paint landscape in his lifetime. Huh? Sunshine, you're some kind of art critic or something. Uh, customers talk to you about pretty much anything, you know? <laughs> Helps to be well rounded in my life work. I see. Well, this impressive be a way. Okay, and over here we got, we got a little... Oh, wait a sec. Isn't that... Oh, wait a second! Before I go in this door, do you know what this room is? Do you know what this room is? Let me know in the comments below before I go inside. The it might surprise you. Th this is the main room? No. No, not here. Just take it a minute to womanize. Excuse me? Special memories or something? Actually, I once jumped through a glass over here. Oh, you remember that, that moment when Cosmo Key tried to get away from the Tojo clan, especially this bald head? Um, <laughs> what's this guy's name? Oh, <laughs> shit. You son of a bitch! Should have asked. Hmm. Huh? That's something. Yeah, someone sure has some taste. Curious, son. Curious, son. Was this thing here back in your day? Mm. I certainly hope not. I expect the more of Daigo than again, something about it might speak to him. No kidding. Oh, books. <gasps> there might be a secret mm. room. What's up with these bookshelves? Who's to say? Maybe they try to look smart. Well, if that's the case, shouldn't they, they get rid of that? Yes. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> wow, this, this is why I get rid of the boom. Wait, should I go back in and get rid of it? Alright, this is it. This is the room. I want to make sure I got everything. <laughs> Is 
Sawashiro, I come in! We're here. Mm. Ebena, huh? You know, last time we spoke, I thought maybe we could actually trust you. It's you. The situation called for it. Just don't let it go down. Okay. Right. Alright. Let's do this, guys. Well now, maybe I should have led you here after all. I was starting to think you got lost. So? Shut your mouth. <laughs> if I needed you around, I'd have said so. <laughs> was it taking a tour, that's all? The Tojo clan's fourth chairman. <laughs> I can only assume you don't care much for what we've done with the place. However, you should know this building was all but left to rot. We took it upon ourselves to restore it. I take it you're Ebina? I am. And I presume you're familiar with Sawashiro-san? With this man my side? Yeah. Although, I've never seen him with the same pin twice. Oh, shoot. You're supposed to be behind bars. But I see that's not the case. Oh, so you probably do it. I'm flattered you've heard of me. It's quite an honor, Kiryu-san. Go on, take a seat. Don't tell us what to do. We're taking seats ourselves. Curious, son. I can only hope you're willing to talk. But maybe you ought to find a different chair first. What? Excuse me? Oh, you? shoot. That chair belongs to the head of the Tojo clan and no one else. Take my word for it. A lot of blood's been spilled over <clears throat> just the chance to sit where you are now. Maybe you don't mean any offense, but you're not even close to earning that spot. And I'll be damned if I play along. Bastard! You better watch your fucking words! You better back up and go for it. Right, <sighs> Captain. This was to be expected. In fact, I'd want nothing less from a man of his stature. Oh, by the way, this seat belongs to assist chairman. Let's try this again. Please, make yourself comfortable. <sighs> now then, shall we get started, Kiryu-san? I see the Seiryu clan's grown quite big. With all the Yakuza left behind, it's no surprise. And your goal is to help them along? Yes. As I'm sure you're aware, the civilian world is far from forgiving to our kind. Okay, <sighs> but what about all those people who were able to make it, yet you pulled them right back in? Sunhee here has plenty of data to back that up. Perhaps that data's oversimplified. There's rarely, if ever, a smooth transition back to society. What a Yakuza needs more than anything is structure, stability, and the means to make a living. So for them to join our clan is a temporary measure on that road to rehabilitation. Yeah. Want to know what else I hear? That you're moving operations to Hawaii. You have keen ears. Queen of the Komi Jewel, indeed. At any rate, you could say we're blessed to have a business partner there. Business partner? Not sure about? if you would know, Kiryu-san. Our biggest source of income right now is storing waste that can't be disposed of. What? However, you talking about the... I can't take any credit for that idea. You talking about the Tojo Someone place, though? thought it up. And they'd been doing it in Hawaii long before I met them. That would be Pale Kana, a local religious group. What? Pale Kana? Pale Kana. You They're mean... also the ones who helped the kane son escape to Hawaii 40 years ago. Wait, you're talking about Bryce? I take it you've already heard of them. You could say that. If I can step back a moment. I needed Sawashiro's reputation in order to set the second great dissolution into motion. 
And while he was still behind bars, he confided in me one of his deepest regrets. That was, of course, about Ikane-san. As such, the more I learned, the more interest I developed in the group that brought her to safety. And as I dug deeper, I learned about their waste management business. There's a special island Palakana owns where they run a facility quite similar to ours. You must mean Nelly Island. Is that where Palakana stores its garbage? That's right. And when I reached out to them, they were extremely generous with their knowledge. They understood our objective as cleansing the sins of society. <laughs> and even offered to take in former Yakuza on our behalf. Oh, man. So you're saying all the fresh new faces in the Seiryu clan are getting sent to Nelly Island? Correct. Everything that's happening in our Yokohama warehouse is simply a precursor to that. Right now, our joint venture with Palakana is our top priority. But I thought Nelly Island was sacred to them. I hear only a select few of their followers are allowed to set foot there. <coughs> Yet, do you plan to dump your Yakuza on their shores? I see you've done your homework. But yes, we've already worked out the details together. Besides, all our men will be doing is transporting the cargo by sea and unloading it off the boat. As it were, they'd hardly be leaving footprints in the sand. A far cry from desecrating their holy land, wouldn't you say? Polycana understands this as well. Never guess religion and the underworld would ever go hand in hand. Aside from that, Why'd you send Kasuga over to Hawaii? I sent Ichi to Hawaii for one thing. To reunite with Akane-san, who said she wanted to meet him. Wait, wait, but where is the Akane from? Of it, it's got nothing to do with the Seryu clan. <coughs> Sawashiro, are you aware of what's happening to Akane-san right now? What do you mean? He's not telling us. She's being hunted down by gangsters, all on Polikana's orders. But their real target is the girl she has with her. And if they're caught, they won't make it out alive. Impossible. Is that true, what you just said? I take it neither of you knew? I can assure you we did our due diligence in researching them. After all, they're integral to the Second Great Dissolution. So you're saying we're making this up? I'm saying flinging words at each other would be pointless. Do you have any proof you can show us? So sure no. that they're hiding something. That said, this is coming from none other than Kiryu-san. We don't mean to make light of that. Ah, oh, hold up. How about you give us some time? We'll look into Polikana once again. What would you do if Polikana turns out just like what I told you? I'd rather not make any speculations at the moment. No, hold on a minute. Uh, I, I, can't, I can't take this, but you saw what they, they tried to do. They tried, they tried, uh, they tried to, um, they try to keep their mouth shut and try uh they uh they try uh say that they don't know nothing. They know something. They probably sent out uh probably kind of after Connie and, and the little girl. So and by the time Kiryu and the others try to tell them the situation, they knew something. They have something to do with uh do with the situation. So you know what? The, 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 if it does, it has something to do with this, cause this son of a bitch is hiding something. Cause I know that he's 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 probably he's hiding something. I don't know what 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 his goal is. As the Tojo Clan fourth chairman, I'm sure you of all people understand the weight of a yakuza's words. He's hiding something. I see. And if that's your stance, I think we're done. No, here. let's get out of here, cause this. This guy's, this guy's hiding something. Thank you for the visit, and for the valuable information. Perhaps when things settle down, we can treat you to dinner. No, no, we don't need to. We are here. Yeah. Let's hope that's possible. Oh, man. Uh, please, skip the deal away and just leave, because I don't know what the hell is going on. We sure show their asses. Can't believe you got Sawashiro acting on his best behavior. Seriously, 
And even though we were deep in Yakuza territory, I didn't feel scared one bit. I don't know. Doesn't feel like we got much out of it. I do. No? But didn't we at least learn that the Seiryu clan's connected to Palekana? <sighs> right. But we're still left to wonder whether Abino really knows what Bryce is up to. Mm. Guess we'll just have to wait and see. I suppose. Man, we gotta investigate. And, and, and we get we need to learn By more the way, about something. You think of anything else for the bucket list? You didn't forget about it, did you? No, I remember. And you know what? Maybe it's because I haven't been to HQ in a while. But I just thought of something important. Oh, huh, what is it? Well, it might not be the fun activity you were thinking. But I want to pay my respects. Some people who were close to me. Oh man. You know, I think that's terrific. Mind if we come along? <laughs> I'd be grateful if you did. Might get a little gloomy without some company. I'm happy to hear you think of us that way. We'll do everything we can to support you, Kiryu-san. I know you will. Thanks. Then let's go. I trust you know the way? Yeah. Let's catch a taxi. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, we're going to uh, Cabo Ocho? Oh man, this key. Yumi. Oil boom. Oh man. Sorry to drag you all out here. Let's say we head back. You're all done? Yeah. I managed to clean up their gravestones and talk to them a bit about my life. If I can ask, who were these people? Well, they're my family. Of course, none of us are blood related, but it's never been about that. And it doesn't make them any less precious. Oh, man. Every time I come here, I get this strange feeling. I've always been the type to rush in and never think ahead. So I assumed if anyone was gonna die first, it'd be me. Yet here I am now, talking to them, even though they're long gone. Here are you, son. I come to pay my respects for the first time in forever, Huh? And who do I see? Oh, Dante! <laughs> Almost like Kazuma himself had a hand in it. <laughs> oh, man. Dante, son. Long time no see. <laughs> Gonna guess your buddy's there to say. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> An acquaintance of yours, Kiryu-san? Wait, doesn't this mean your cover's blown? Hold on, you, you don't know him. He's good. If anyone's aware of anything, it's him. Yo, Nabu! I take it you must be Detective Date? And that would make you Sunhi, the so called face of Ijincho. <laughs> Never could stay away from trouble, could you? <laughs> Yo, how could Nabu cannot recognize we'll him? Curious, huh? You look like you got some catching up to do. Appreciate that. Hey, no worries. You fellas enjoy. Sorry. Didn't mean to scare off your new pals. All right, be safe, guys. But hey, what are the chances? I say we catch up on old times. That is, if you've got time. Yes, sir. Sure. Oh, man. We going to meet Dati? Oh, man. It's been a long time. It's been so long since the two of us have had a sip. I figured it ought to be here. And speaking of a sip, that one's all you get. Meanwhile, I'll be helping myself to the bar. Real drunk? You sure Mama won't mind? <laughs> <laughs> Just so happens today's her day off. Oh, man. Then I guess we'll leave it at that. Thanks. Oh, man. You're getting thin. I admit that caught me off guard. Really? You can tell that easy, huh? Well, yeah. When it comes to studying you, I hold the Guinness World Record. What was that? So, uh, 
Is it that bad? Yeah. Yeah, it's that bad. When the doctor found out I was running around like this, he nearly burst the vessel. Let me guess. More nonsense from the Daidoji faction. Hmm. In Hawaii, there was a girl who reminded me of Haruka. Her name's Lonnie. She's just an innocent kid. Yet here she is, running for her life. All for some asshole's convenience. I can't help but want to save her. Sounds like something you'd say. Always putting your neck out for others, aren't you? Well, the clock ticking, I'm supposed to be enjoying my final moments. At least according to Namba and them. Mm. Sure. You've never been the type to look after yourself. Well, there's been a lot on my mind. Now that it's come to this. Looking back, I almost didn't make it. When Nishiki and Yumi died, I thought, if only I could go with them. Okay, Haruka too, because they're the glad she's still alive. Actually, something you told me. I said something that important. You know damn well you did. Don't you have someone precious to protect? His daughter. I figured that must be what's pushing me still. <laughs> In that case, you can't clock out just yet. Oh man, after all. <laughs> You want to protect that kid, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then now's the time you get back your gusto. Still free to stick around a while? <laughs> Come on. How long has it been? I'm sticking around whether you like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. Oh, man. Welcome back, Kiryu-san. Hey, how much were you drinking? Not much. I only had one glass. Mm. So was everything okay with your friend? Yeah. What's more, we agreed to meet up every now and again, like back in the day. Hope that's all right. Of course it is. Just don't go overboard with the booze, okay? Yeah, I know. You sure about that? I don't want to find you passed out somewhere. <laughs> I see you're not going to go easy on me. Fine. You have my word. Well, that's that. We should head back to Kasuga's apartment for the day. Okay. Oh, I think you probably remember this one. Should have used a taxi driver. Am I right? Oh, look. A taxi. I can't. I got what you said. But the urge to check in the car's interior or clean this is a stereo for body damage is too strong. Guess what happens so hard to break? Even though it's experience since I last drove for taxi myself, I knew it. I lived in uh, Fuku uh, Fukuoka for several time other areas working as a taxi driver. I'd rather not think back to those three, three days. I don't regret any of my past decisions though. Oh man, I gotta play Yakuza 5. We might even play Yakuza 5 after this. But what I always remember is the one the people at Nagasu Tashi showed me. They saved me more times than I can count. That reminds me. The food stalls at Chief at uh, Nakajima took me to have a week of food. If you play across Kashi Chub, don't skip out uh, at Nasa Nakasiga. Ah, that takes me back. It's a great town, but hey, but still no mess for Kamalo Cho. I gotta get back to five. Hmm? Should I check out that convenience store? Papa and M store go are the go-to convenience stores. At least to me, they are. <laughs> oh man, they got better all the Chinese buns. Even though it's specialty, they can't get anywhere else. I should say which one I like more. Some customers get up, up in the arms to their favorite convenience stores, though. Guess I'm more than I'm a mile I like the better at Papa, but not to beat the hot food the guy at the M store. Cause I think I haven't passed by here in a while. Maybe I should try something for both stores as a little compa comparison test for old times. Sake. This brings back memories. <laughs> no matter how how old you get, shopping and eating delicious food always gonna be a good fun. For beating people up in the stores. <laughs> this here's a high school. The building is pretty nice. I remember playing this at, at Lost Judgment. It's called Sevilla High. Speaking of high school, I wasn't the greatest student to say the least. 
Oh, I cut class to hang out with Nisky instead. It's pretty embarrassing. Thinking back to it, I was a stereotype of delinquent. Maybe if I had taken it to my education more seriously, my life would have been taught differently. No, I doubt it. I've always wanted to be like Pops, my like constable son, or your boom. That never changed. In the end, despite the detours I ended up taking, this is the path I was I was meant to talk. I remember this. This is my life. Oh, man. Hey, there's a school here. <laughs> Makes me miss my old uniform. Oh yeah. When I was a kid, we wore those old high collar ones. That was a long time ago though. Actually, here you son, I bet you could still pull it off. Yeah. It might be kind of fun to spend a day in uniform again. <laughs> Not unless you've got a time machine. Let's say we're out of... Oh! My club does a school uniform night. We could always do that. We've even got men's ones, too. You should stop by, Kiryu-san. <laughs> I guess anything's possible these days. All right. The ocean. <gasps> oh, man. Saijima. Sometimes I just will sometimes the ocean reminds me of Saijima. Wonder why. Maybe because he's a man of the biggest the ocean and his heart just a vast. Or maybe it's because he, he washed up on the beach in front of my house. I never met anyone like him before. Guys like him usually end up dead. Well, he's ridiculously tough. Physically and mentally. But he never flushed his drink. In fact, he's the quietest and the most considerable person I ever met. He really is one hell of a man. This brings back memories. <laughs> Whatever I think about him, I start thinking I still got a long ways to go. Yo, he's the one tough son of a gun. I gotta tell you about this. The batting cages, huh? No better feeling than hitting a home run. Ah, oh, I remember this. I used to play ball in the sand a lot back in Olamichi. I even put together a whole team of some folks from the bar. Hitting a homer in the big open field is even more exaggerated than the battling cages. Feels it'll, like just yesterday. It would be nice if I got to play baseball with anyone again. Oh man. I won a cute pair of sneakers from a sweepstakes the other day. Miraculously, they were just my size. I guess you really can win those, huh? I was surprised too, but I think I might have used up all my luck. Nah. I'm always wearing high heels though, so sneakers will be a nice change of pace. Huh. Never thought about that before. Oh, it genuinely feels like you can walk just about anywhere. Uh, I do wear a lot of dress shoes. Maybe I should make the change too. Yeah. Let's all get some sneakers and go out for a stroll sometime. <laughs> Watch, you'll want to walk from Hokkaido all the way down to Okinawa. <laughs> the shoes even make it out of Hokkaido, that is. <laughs> Things are going well. Mom, can I play, still play soccer? Uh, uh-uh. You broke your promise with me the other day. Please, I promise I'll be better this time. <laughs> Hot woman side, that is. Oh, I wonder if Haruto will grow up like that. Haruto. Haruto is someone more holocaust than used to child. And something is like a grandson to me. <laughs> I guess that makes me my grandpa. <laughs> I never thought I'd be able to see the faces of my grandchildren before I die. Before any lady luck was on my side. <laughs> now I start to feel sorry for myself. I do anything to see how how to future folks. This brings back memories. We human sure <laughs> agree. Oh, Come on, Gabe. Stop doing me like this. Sunny, your nails are so gorgeous. Do you do them yourself? I usually go to the salon, but... I do them on my own sometimes. Huh. Psycho. Want me to do yours? Would you? Actually, I'd love for you to show me how. I'm bad at the prep work. Prep? For manicures? I figured you'd just <laughs> slap some polish on them. No, no. For a good manicure, you can't skimp on the priming. You gotta file the nail down smoothly, trim the cuticles, apply a base gel. Hey, it kinda sounds like building model kits. <laughs> Say what? Yeah, have to file it on <laughs> plastic, clip off nibs, spray on a top coat. Ooh. That stuff makes all the difference in how the robot comes out. That's interesting. Wait, Sounds what? like what I used to do in my pocket circuit days. Those were fun times. We might be naturals at doing nails, come to think. Sacha, want us to do yours? Um, I don't want my nails to look like robots or race cars. <laughs> I 
can't put my finger on what it's exactly, but this building doesn't seem very Japanese to me. It looks like something I see overseas instead. Yumi will probably like this sort of thing though. Oh man. One time she had the best place to hold a wedding ceremony would be Hawaii. Before I could make it happy for her. Hanawa must have pulled some strings and sent me on a mission to Hawaii outside. But I should be grateful. Thanks to him, I finally got some of the clothes that I need. By bringing her away with me, I feel like I was taking her to a place she always dreamed of myself. I wonder if she'll be shocked by how foolish I've been. This brings back memories. Or maybe she please, at least. I would hope so. Oh wait, that's the course. I, I mean, wait, what this man called? Oh, Sunlight Castle. Oh. I believe this will be time at home. Castles, huh? I see a castle split to two vertically, but who the hell would believe me if I would have told him that? But we did happy? I swear it did. On top of that, another castle pop out of the craft for the first one. That's maybe I should visit maybe I should visit that castle again sometimes, just to prove I didn't drink the other whole thing up. Oh man. Oh no, Michi! Sure, no Chinatown would be a good place to find some of the lives. Hmm? Is this? Oh no, Michio merchandise? Who knows we would end up in a place like this? <laughs> the first time I put in that suit, I never thought he'd end up in a nationwide phenomenon. Guess it's through all the love his past put up to him by his career. Shuanaka and the people on the Michi. Feels like just yesterday. Glad to see all that hard work pay off. Oh no, Michi! Psycho, that bag seems pretty sturdy. You have it specially made? Well, it's not custom or anything, but it is a brand name bag, so it's good quality. And the bottom's rock solid, so it can definitely knock a few teeth loose. <laughs> Did you say teeth? Oh! I bet it could even fend off a knife or two. Uh, right. Guess you picked a good one. Things are going well. Oh man. Complete. Yay! What a gorgeous view. Look at this. Every time I look at the sea, memories of Okinawa keep flying back into my mind. <laughs> Playing with the kids, catching fish for dinner, a life of peace and content. If only I could turn back time, even just for a little. Ah, that takes me back. Yeah, and here I am now, sounding like an old man. My age is catching up to me. Oh man. Now this is quite the stage. I bet they used it to put on shows. With this much space, I wonder if it's possible to build a ring there. Just imagine a ring still gets my blood puppy after all. I am the one, the only Dragon Max, of course. I'm only starting to wrestle for Taichi's sake. But after a strange turn of events, I actually fought in the ring while I was in uh, Fukuoka against the real wrestler. That was a long time ago. At this way, Dragon Max will fade to a uh, uh, security. In that case, I'd like to wrestle one last time. I'll be able to time it match of the decade. That's if that's possible, I'd like to be against Taichi. Now it's all going up. Give me something to remember me by. Uh, Funimi, uh, Funimi, like, con. So it's a, uh, more time museum. That's pretty neat. Boats will always make me think of Onomichi, a shipbuilding town that faces a cell inland sea. Oh shit, I remember that one. A quiet, common place surrounded by sea and mountains. I can see how Haruka wound up there. It's also the place where I was officially declared dead. <sighs> Though I always think about Kamurocha as my hometown. To think of my life would come to an end elsewhere. Ah, that takes me back. But guess it's not all that bad. It's a good place to rest in peace. Damn. Survive. It's a great bar, but it doesn't hold a candle to surround, eh? I let loose a little too much last time and say like crazy. <laughs> I want to thank Nabo and the others for hanging out with me. But that said, 
karaoke is really a mysterious thing, but it's nothing like walking a sweat from fighting or hitting a bang cage you saw. You feel exhausted, but it's a pleasant way. What's really fascinating is how you might even catch a glimpse of someone's true colors, depending on what song you they choose to sing. That's nostalgic. Oh, right. I was the only person singing back then. I had to listen to anyone else who pissed that song. Oh, wait! Hey, Hamako san. Well, if it isn't Psycho, how's business? Breaking in the cash, huh? My club's doing okay. What about your place? Now, if you're doing okay, then we must be more or less the same. And not much to do during slow hours, you know. Anyway, I see you brought an unfamiliar face with you. I've only recently arrived in town. My name is Taichi Suzuki. <laughs> Come on now. What's with the fake name? Uh. Well. Uh, what? She she knows. <laughs> Don't play dumb with me. That awkward introduction of yours made it so awkward. <laughs> Was it really that awkward? Maybe it's better if we just cut the bullshit with her. Uh. Oh, I see how it is. Everyone's already in the know about your alias. Fine, then. I'll play along. Tai Chi Suzuki-san, was it? <laughs> I guess there's no fooling you, Hamako-san. <laughs> Don't take it too hard, sweetheart. Stay in business long enough in this town and you'll end up just like me. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good thing. This is Hamako-san. She's been in Ijincho longer than I have. She's like the underboss of this town. Or perhaps more aptly, a ghost haunting it. <laughs> so what's the story? You girls dump Ichiban for a new man? <laughs> Suzuki-san here helped me and Kasuga out of a bind. He's even more notorious than I am in the underground. Careful not to show disrespect, lest you embarrass yourself. Enough of that. Keep up that talk and I'd be the one disrespecting Hamako-san. <laughs> oh, looks like we have a real gentleman here. You treat all the ladies this way? Oh, man. And how do you know Ichiban? How should I put this, uh... The two of us used to work for the same company, although we never met back then. Ichiban really respects Suzuki-san. Oh, right, the two of them were in Hawaii until recently, too. Huh, you guys must be real close if you went on vacation together. All right then, Suzuki-san, why don't you stay a while? Have some tea with me. Oh! I get the choices. Just you and me? What? I'm not gonna eat you up or anything. Oh, are you too busy to have one cup of tea with an old hag like me? Alright, let's do it. Alright, let's have that cup of tea. <laughs> now we're talking. Head on upstairs, I'll get everything ready. Oh, uh, we we'll probably play a sub story? A sub story of Kiryu's uh, memorials? Did did she invite me along for tea? So is what she tell me? Your shop? Sure is. On the outside, we're an eating house. Normally, you'd be serviced by some girls, but if you're looking for that kind of special treatment, come back another time. Of course, I'll have to charge you for that. <laughs> no, I'm fine. We're what society would call a shady business. Remember that politician, Rio Aoki? A few years back, he came to a gene show. Oh. He made this bold claim that Bleach Japan, the MPO, would build shelters. Said that girls who work in places like this, and their families, could live there free of charge and get job training. It sounded like a brilliant idea. Now that's real philanthropy, I thought. He even told me I could be the dorm mother. So I was near ready to sell this place off. Why is this place still standing? Because that shelter was a bald-faced lie. Rio Aoki's true objective was to gain popularity and gather votes by wiping out the gray zones and everyone in it. Mm. I made my girls go to a shelter, but it ended up being a mousetrap. <laughs> Lion's Lair, actually. Yeah, he said that they were all arrested and deported. The ones working here now are all new. 
kind of girls who come work for me don't even have family back home. That's why they stay here in the jean show. I was duped all because I was careless. Now I have no idea how any of those poor souls are doing. I see. Sorry to hear it. But it sounds like you had no way of knowing that happened. But the thing is, I should have known. Ichiban and them saw right through Rio Aoki. They even had their suspicions about the shelter. Now they tried to warn me, but I still went and got myself fooled. I even yelled at Ichiban, telling him not to doubt Aoki's good intentions. You're not the one at fault, Hamako-san. It's Rio Aoki. I know that, sure, but. Mm, she couldn't hold the grudge. Never got to apologize to Ichiban for yelling at him. <laughs> now it's been years since, so I completely botched the timing. And knowing him, he might not even remember that one minor detail. So I wondered, maybe I don't need to apologize. I never stopped wondering since. Is that why you decided to confide in me? So I could be your messenger? <laughs> Come on. I'm not that shameless. Nah, I just... I just wanted someone to hear me out, I guess. But there's no way I could tell Namba or Saiko. Nah, I don't need them seeing me weak and vulnerable. And you thought I'd be a good confidant? Well, Ichiban respects you, doesn't he? And mm. you were with him until recently. Anyway, did you say anything about me while you two were off in Hawaii? She might have said, but... Oh, wait, it's the first time I'm hearing this. Sorry, this is the first time I've heard about this. But as far as I know, he's not the type of guy who'd bear a grudge. If you really did offend him, wouldn't he just call you out? Yeah, maybe so. I don't think it's anything you need to worry about, though. Sorry for taking up your time on my petty little issues. I feel bad. No, don't, don't, don't do call you, though. We all have those nagging doubts in our heads. You're not alone on that. What? Even if you want to forget, you can't. Because you never got the closure you needed. Closure? Hmm. <laughs> when you get to be my age, you're always going to have unfinished business. Mm. Right. I feel the same way. But recently, some things came up in my life that got me thinking. Tying up all those loose ends made me realize that. Uh, no one knows what regrets. Yeah, closer for a bell or also No one can live life without having a single regret. That's impossible. But you can take matters into your own hands and try to make the best of what life dealt you. So you're saying I ought to apologize to Ichiban? Well, what if he says, I don't remember anything like that and laughs in my face for bringing it up? No, I don't think he, he'd do that. If he finds out that it's been eating at you for a long time, there's no way he'd laugh. That's just how he is. He's a hero, Yoko. He's a hero, Yoko <laughs> Amo. I think I get why you've got Saiko and Sun He waiting on you hand and foot. They're doing what? Uh, what? <laughs> Did you really have to put it that way? <laughs> <laughs> well, at any rate, I do feel better after talking to you, Suzuki-san. Now I'm actually looking forward to the next time I see Ichiban. That's so. Glad to hear. Also, the tea was delicious. I should get going now. Oh! Don't tell Psycho or anyone about this. You hear? Don't worry. After all, be... I'm supposed to be some hardened old ghost. I can't have them think I've gone soft. <laughs> Don't worry. I can keep a secret. Thanks for the tea. And take care. Hmm. Taichi Suzuki, was it? <laughs> Whoever he was, must be a great man. She knows. <laughs> okay, so that's the, uh, just a uh, Q&A, so I've uh, got it. Nice. Oh, Hamako has been added to a guest of the local island. Trying to buy him to stay for making the trip. Ah, nice. As on Tante, 
Maybe I can focus on things I want to do. Stroll out and tower with her. Hmm? Hello? Carry you. Dante here. Mm. Dante son. I'm in a gene show at the moment. Come out with me. We should talk. Don't try making out like you're too busy. <laughs> uh, is this important? That bucket list thing you were telling me about before. I've been mulling it over ever since. Got me thinking I have too much unfinished business myself. Uh, if I can be of some help, I'll come. There we go. See you soon. Alright. Where should we meet? Rose Blossom. The Cabaret Club. I'll tell the bar to expect you. Right, oh. I'll be waiting. Oh, okay, it's close by. I'm first business, I hope you saw the cabinet club, Dr. Side. And when we find out, what this blossom is! It's a place Dr. Side told me to find him, what's blossom. Took you long enough. Much obliged. We've got it from here. Going over to that table. Very good, sir. Please enjoy yourselves. Mm. Uh, well, what are we doing here exactly? <laughs> I appreciate you coming down here, Kiryu. You. you won't regret it, I think. I'll trust you on that. Whose table was that just now, by the way? Do you two huh? know each other? You were drinking together. Wait, who uh, that? I'd introduce you to the guy, but the Daidoji faction wouldn't be happy with me. What? Hmm? What's that supposed to mean? Kid's name is Taichi. The boy you raised at Morning Glory? That Taichi. Wait. What? Wait, Don't he's here? talking at him? He hasn't clocked you either, it would seem. Wait. <gasps> Yo! That he's all grown up. Look at him. Uh, hey, don't order another yet. I need a second. Any more, and I'll pass out on my way home. Oh my it's gosh! It's right, handsome. I'll watch over you until the morning. Oh, really? You do that? It's not an offer I'd make to just anyone, Tai Chan. But I feel safe with you. Damn, Tai Chi! Uh, that's really great. Yokohama girls are the best. Wow, he's like a to player. Fair, he's of legal drinking age. Back in Okinawa, he works as a fireman. Oh, man. I can't believe it. That's Tai Chi. What's he doing here? I heard he was visiting a friend in Tokyo, so I rang him up. I offered to take him around Yokohama. Not like I was ever that close to the boy. Couldn't think of any better place to go than here. <laughs> Gene Show women sure can work wonders on men like him. <laughs> Doubt he even noticed I left. <laughs> What's the meaning of all this, Date san? He's supposed to think I'm dead. Why would you invite me somewhere he could spot me? Because if he doesn't realize who he's looking at, there's no problem. Hmm? That's why you and I are keeping our distance. Much as I'd like it, I know. You can't speak directly. I mm. still thought seeing him like this would be better than never seeing him at all. Date-san. Oh, man. <laughs> You've always been too stubborn to look backward. Tell me, how does it feel? Would dying have been easier without this memory? Don't your kids warrant a spot on your list? Oh, man, that's true. But damn. Tachi, I... Man, it's hard to explain. I, I'd heard about him becoming a firefighter, you know. I, I still keep tabs on all of them, but I never planned on seeing them again. I couldn't even risk hoping to. Oh, man. Hmm. That's why we're here. This is my unfinished business. You've gone through life telling yourself you have no regrets. It's not true. You just refuse to acknowledge them. 
And if there's anyone still breathing in this world who could convince you of that, I suppose it's me. Dante-san. <sighs> I know. When the Daidoji helped you fabricate your death, I went along with it. Mm. And it cost you everything. Haru. Haruto. A life cut off from the people you love. I replay those events over and over in my head, wondering if I could have changed the outcome. It was my responsibility. My death was the only thing that could have ensured their safety. Dante-san, you have nothing to blame yourself for. Either way, that was a long time ago. Maybe now I could make a difference? Maybe? Mm -hmm. Huh? Hold on. Who are they? Wait, what's going on? Oh, I'm not sure, actually. Hey, why are all the girls hanging out here? Send some to our table. Very sorry, sir. We'll address this at once. You better. We're paying customers too, ain't we? Why are they mad? I, I apologize, everyone. I didn't know I'd be so popular in here. That's because Taichan is the cutest. I won't drink with anyone else. <laughs> you mean it? Piss off, you dumb fucking tourist. Ooh. You really think you're hot shit? Damn it. I might have tipped those girls too well. Wanted Tai Chi to have a good time, you know. This is dangerous. Everyone's too drunk. Oh, man. Hey, you're being very impolite, aren't you? Calm down and someone will join you soon. Excuse me? I don't take lip from working girls. <gasps> hey! Whoa, whoa, what the hell? You can't do that. Never hit a woman. That's why. Right. Well, okay, you wait. As long as Tai Chi's there, you can't intervene. For real. <sighs> if he finds out you're alive, he gets both. I'm gonna discipline this chick. No! Huh? Oh, Never Tai Chi! You make me sick. Oh, let's go, Taishi! Daichan! You, you're dirt punk! Oh, you want to discipline her, huh? Learn some discipline yourself. Yeah, go get him! Huh. Well, I'll be. Who would have thought Taichi had it in? Oh man. He's full of surprises. Not so fucking fast! Huh? Ugh. Oh, shit! Hey, shit dick! Nobody likes a guy who hogs the tits! Are you okay? Please get up. Oh man. Did he knock him out cold? Excuse me, that's quite enough. Leave it once or I'll call the police. Shut your mouth. This is your fault. Oh my god, this guy. This ends right now. Or I'll pay you back for Tai Chi ten times over. Uncle. Oh. Is it really you, Uncle Cos? Whoa! Oh. Wait, wait! Everybody has Touch a it? tonight. Wait! Whole world shitting on me. Now, I'm gonna shit on all of you. Oh, I'm gonna whoop all your asses for hitting Tai Chi. And oh man, I do. I should. Oh man. I'm on a roll. Let's go. No Everybody stay on this. I'm, I'm gonna face this motherfucker. <laughs> Time to shut it down. Yeah. What's the flow? That's one. Two. I hope there's more. Yeah, I'm out of here. You the wrong opponents. Oh, all the damn luck. It wasn't supposed to go like this. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to go down like this. It would be all right. Hmm? Oh, um, well, sleeping like a baby. He's more drunk than he is hurt. Maybe we overdid it a little. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's fine. Sir? He's gonna make a great firefighter. Boy's in good shape. Hell. He's a grown man. Wait, wait, wait! Kill you! Don't wake him up! 
Aichi's gonna wake up before too long. You should leave. We'll catch up. I'll stay behind and try to clean up this mess. Thanks. Oh man, they got uh, Taichi didn't realize it was him. But, uh. Uncle God! Hey, rise and shine, kid. What a night. Oh, um, I'm real sorry. I, uh, I remember there was the fight. Somebody came and defended me. Somebody? <laughs> you mean was Kiryu here? Huh? Joking. You were calling out for him, Tai Chi. Uncle Kaz, Uncle Kaz, you <laughs> said. Uh, really? Weird. I guess I was dreaming. Oh, man. Good news uh, is you held your own. Protecting that girl of yours. Huh. Not every man is the sort who'd do that, you know. Even if they wanted to. I'm so glad Dr. Actually, Cleo. that's my trick when I need to be brave. I think about what Uncle Kiryu would do. When I remember the way he was, it's like... I can shut down any fear inside me. You don't say. That's a pretty clever technique. Should give it a try myself. Mm. Yeah, sure. It always works for me. Oh man, it's good to see Tai Chi. Man, I think it was a fire week now. This place good? Kanagawa PD contact recommended it to me. Order one drink, sit as long as you like. From now on, consider this my Eugene Show hideout. Hmm. So you mean? I think I'll stay around town for a bit. You know, stay on top of that bucket list of yours. <laughs> tai Chi's little night out was only the start of it. I've got calls going out all over Yokohama. Stop. You realize that if the Daidoji faction catches on, we'll both pay. <laughs> they haven't objected yet, have they? Not even Tai Chi knows you're still out there. Trust me, the fearsome Daidoji faction has nothing to worry about. You're testing them. Mm. Look, I realize I'm taking a risk here. But when it comes to your final days, I don't care. Nothing you say is going to stop me. If Daidoji has a problem, they know where I am. <laughs> so then, Tai Chi stir anything in you? Do you regret what happened tonight? Because I saw your face just before you left. The way you looked at that proud young man. You have ties to this world. They don't disappear when you turn your back. Mm. <laughs> You're not wrong. Dragons don't have the luxury of dying forgotten. Tai Chi remembers you. People remember you. Kazuma Kiryu never walked the easiest path. But the steps he took always bore fruit. You have the responsibility to reap the harvest you've sown. I've never been more certain. I'll call you again. Kasuga and all that is important, but take some time for yourself, too. Does it, son? Thank you. I don't have the words. I'll never forget what you're doing for me, Taichi and the others. I thought maybe I'd been able to let go, that even if I never saw them again, I'd be fine. But when I heard his voice with my own ears, when he was right there in front of me, who knew I'd be so happy? I certainly didn't. Hmm. That's more than you need to say. Now I've got quite some work to do. Man. It's one of the sad moments. Man, thanks to Dr. Sars Gaming, I was able to reunite with Tai Chi, so I was considering how one side it was, but that's fine by me. It helped me realize that I wasn't ready to leave the kids for more glory though. I sure did grow up just fine without me. Oh, man. As Kitty awakens this awakening level, he will trigger life links and Dante is signing other old friends. Life links can be initiated by speaking to Dante at the Harbor Light and teach about this. At the Kitty receives a phone call, a wicked dragon with it and sees this throughout the end. Okay. Sorry for wait. All good? So, did you get to chat with your friend? Yeah. Our talk made me realize something important, actually. Oh yeah? Glad to hear. 
Anyway, what, what's next? Huh? Huh? Oh, what? I know Santa. Cosmo kill you, the legendary dragon. To thank you in time. Rest of that world, I'll be expecting you. Come on. Home. Huh? Who messes me? Something matter? There's somewhere I need to be. Am I taking along? Of course not. Let's get moving on then. Can't say I'm not curious. What's up, whoa, huh? Maybe I should drop by. Yo, whoever that was, I got I got suspicious uh that I need to look forward to. But I gotta end the right there. Um I I supposed to be ending on, on that one, but I had to add it right there for the uh life links, uh the nostalgia and everything, so and uh, offline I got to train everybody because Psycho is well far behind and so is Psycho uh wait wait Psycho's far behind so Sunway's um always far behind but number that was pretty good so uh thank you guys so much for watching please like me leave a comment subscribe for more tap the no no fires and we'll catch you guys on the road